guys, it's Laurie from PassionatePennyPincher.com. It is day six of Croctober. I have my candle lit. I'm gonna go set it over here. It's time to make dinner in the crock pot. Today's meal is so easy and so yummy. I'm actually getting it ready already. I'm super excited, so I'm gonna pull it out of my fun tin. The tin is on back order, but you can get all of the printable PDF lists right away. If you wanna get the tin, scroll to the bottom of the post, um, of the link in the video, and you can grab your tin, or you can just get the PDF version right away. They're both available. As you're hopping on, tell me, are you Crocktober in today? Because I'm telling you what, Crocktober is pretty amazing. Today we are having slow cooker. How many of you guys would love to be making this this morning? Slow cooker ravioli lasagna. Again, you can get the PDF in the, click the link in the video to get the PDF version of this. And if you scroll to the bottom, you can still get the tin on back order. How many of y'all are making dinner today? Good morning, Melinda. Hi, Connie. Hi, Stacy. So glad to see you guys. This meal is so yummy. Come on now. I'm going to set my little cute card on my cute holder. How fun is that? Um, come on over. Good morning, Linda. Hello, Janelle. Guys, I am so glad to see you guys on this morning. I'm going to set up my little, I've got my Croctober, my little happy pumpkin to show you guys. Doesn't it feel so happy? I love, like, I love Croctober. Can I just tell you that? This is honestly, as far as dinner goes, this is my favorite time of the year, I think. Maybe not. I like Christmas too. And I like spring. I don't know. I like them all, but Croctober is pretty darn fun. Okay, so what I've got here is I have a pound of ground turkey. Mostly, most people would use ground beef. I just use ground turkey when I can to keep it a little bit healthier. Um, so I'm using a pound of ground turkey, and I'm going to add in a, where'd my spoon go? A teaspoon of garlic powder. That, yeah. You know what? I think I just put in the wrong thing. No, that's right. Okay. A squeeze. I need a couple onion cloves. I'm sorry, garlic cloves. So I'm just using my awesome squeeze garlic because it's amazing. I'm going to push this around. Now I'm going to add in some salt, a teaspoon of salt. And then a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I'm just going to give it a quick sprinkle here. I don't want to do too much though. Okay. And then I'm going to saute this. Now I'm sauteing this in my Ninja slow cooker. I'm going to tell you, I love my Ninja slow cooker for things like this, because if you have to saute, it just makes you, you can do it all in one crock pot, which is amazing. So literally it does cook a little bit on the hot side. So if you're cooking in a Ninja, I tend not to leave stuff as long. If I know it's in my Ninja, I go a little bit slower, but it's awesome because you can saute in it. You can do everything in one pot, which just makes it super easy and simple. You just wondered what we're making. We are making the slow cooker ravioli lasagna. I'm gonna show you guys. Here's the little grocery list and menu plan. Can y'all see that over there? Can y'all see much of anything right now? Probably not. Um, we're gonna add in some ravioli and, and spaghetti sauce here in a second. Okay, I've got my beef almost ground. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to drain off this meat. The nice thing about ground turkey is there is so little to drain when you use ground turkey compared to using something else. So I'm going to drain this super fast, but it's not going to take much. Okay. And then I'm going to add in two jars of marinara sauce. I'm actually going to give this a quick squish. Let me give this a quick, because I'm frugal, I'm gonna give this quick, a little bit of water in it to make it just get out all the extra. Okay, then I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I swear Italian seasoning is the best thing ever for quick, quick Italian meals. Now we're gonna, we've got our sauce now going. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna remove about half of this sauce. Now, if you're working without a Ninja, you'll just do this all this part, you will all do on the stove top, and then you'll transfer it to your crock pot. But since I've got the Ninja, I can do it all right here. If you are interested, if you would like to join us for Crocktober, where we're making meals every single day for the next, we're on week, we're on day one of week two. I need a bigger scooper. If you would like to join us for another three weeks of the best slow cooker food you've ever eaten, you guys, this is amazing. It's gonna make your life so easy. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna get 
get all of this. I'm going to get a good chunk of this off. And then we'll layer all the other ingredients. I'm going to read the directions because I'm forgetting them this morning as I'm doing it. Okay. Here we go. Okay, this is easy. Sorry, I had a momentary like, I read the directions and I thought I said three quarters. You want three quarters of a cup on the bottom. So that's probably about three quarters of a cup. That may be a little bit less than three quarters of a cup. I'm gonna add a little bit more in there. You basically wanna cover the bottom of the crock with your stuff. I'm gonna actually turn my crock pot off because remember, this is on, that's on the stove top setting. Okay, now we're gonna add in a layer of ravioli and you can do it however you want to do it you can just sprinkle it or dump it I want to make sure that I get a full layer basically think of all the work that you do when you make a traditional lasagna how many of you guys love making traditional lasagna but it takes so much work basically you don't have to do any of the work because it's so crazy easy you're just literally gonna sit there and let the ravioli noodles do all the work of putting together the lasagna because they've already got the ricotta inside. They're easy peasy. Now we're gonna do a layer, another layer of sauce. And this is one of those meals that, um, are, it's one that if you struggle with kid-friendly foods, this is super kid-friendly. Your kids are gonna love it. And it's just easy and good. I'm gonna actually, because I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of sauce here. And like I said, you can use ground turkey. You could, if you don't want to do meat, you could do this meatless. It would taste fine. It would just be, yeah, I've done it without meat before. Um, so it's totally up to you. I'm going to serve mine with a side salad. You can also, like a Caesar salad is what we're planning to do. You could also use, um, you can make garlic bread. You can make peas. I had normally, what do you guys serve? When you serve a spaghetti type meal, when you serve a pasta dish, what side dishes do you use? Because I typically go with a side salad. So make sure all of my bases are covered here and I've got little my little lasagna noodles over everything. And now I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna get all of this goodness off. Let's make sure these are covered. I've actually got a good bit. I'm afraid I hurried with that so much that I didn't get out all the spaghetti sauce. So I'm gonna kind of cheat. Yeah, my jar still. I knew I had extra spaghetti sauce in there. And now I'm just gonna slowly put this over top, cover these guys up. Cause I wanna make sure my net noodles are all covered so they don't get like, I don't know what they would get like. I don't think they would work as well if they're not covered. So you wanna make sure your pasta is covered in sauce. And you're gonna cook this one on low for three to four hours. This is not a great one to do if you're leaving for work for nine hours. Of mozzarella, you're gonna put two cups of mozzarella on at the end. You're gonna put that over, then you're gonna let that cook for about 30 to 45 minutes, serve it up with your salad, and you are good to go. So I'm gonna answer any questions y'all have about our crazy Croctober recipes. I'm gonna put my lid on. I'll show you what this looks like for those of you who are wondering what a ninja looks like. Here's what my ninja looks like right there. If you see it, um, what's awesome is that it has so many different settings. It's pretty cool. So if you are here this morning, tell me, give me a harder like, are you doing October with me? And how have you liked the meal so far? I have been flabbergasted by how much these people have loved the meals. Do you guys want to know what we're having for the rest of the week? It's pretty exciting. Um, somebody says, with spaghetti, you do a coleslaw sometimes. That's a good idea. Salad and garlic bread for sure. You guys are liking the recipes. You serve a size salad. If you are new here and you don't know anything about Croctober or Passionate Penny Pincher or anything, would you give me a like so I can say hello and tell me hello and let me say good morning to you. Okay, so here's what we're having this week. It's all on my card. Again, you can get this all in your PDF as well. The PDF is only $14.95. It's a steal. $14.95 for 12 weeks of recipes and menu cards is amazing. You just got yours and you're going for this tonight. I'm excited, Renee. Melissa, you love the meals. Vicki, you love the meals. That makes me so happy. I love hearing that. Best meals ever, Denise said. I feel like they're so good too. Let me tell you what's this week. Are y'all ready for this week? Okay, so we got our slow cooker ravioli lasagna today. Tomorrow we're having slow cooker chicken pot pie. People are loving that one. It's a great one. It's easy. Slow cooker ham and cheese melts are gonna surprise you. It's very different. It's different than any other crock pot meal 
It's very, I, my bet is that not a single person watching has ever made one like this one. So, slow cooker ham and cheese melts, those will be on Wednesday. Thursday is slow cooker chicken chili, white chicken chili, one of my favorites. Friday is slow cooker chicken nachos, so they are so good. Jesse, you just said these have been a game changer for your family. I am so happy about that. So all of the grocery lists and menu plans, this is what's awesome. If you order the tin, it is on backwards. So you can click the link in the video. Now everybody's gonna ask, so I'm gonna tell you real fast. Click the link in the video and immediately you'll be included in the private Cool Kids Crockin' Club and you will get all of the recipes via PDF that you can just print out at home. It's $14.95, it's totally worth it. I guarantee you, you will save so much money because these are frugal meals planned for you, fantastic. Um, if you scroll to the bottom of the page, we have more tins coming, but they are on back order. They will not deliver until the middle of, Feb uh, middle of November. This is what the tin looks like. Let me show you the geniusness here. This is so fun. Can you use thick artisan bread for the melts? Renee, let me show you what I got for the artisan melts because I knew that question was gonna come up today. Um, here's what I got. You just want a nice, crusty, chunky bread. So this is what I got. It does, you need something that'll fit in your crock pot. That's the biggest thing. You need that this whole loaf has to fit the whole thing in your crock pot. So think about that as you're picking your artisan bread. It's worth it for the PDF, guys, Renee. I mean, really, for $14.95, totally worth it. The PDF, I'm sorry, the dry erasable, the tin comes with these. Dry erasable grocery lists. So you can, there you go. Reuse it forever. You know, 12 weeks of meals. Literally, at least you could use it twice a year. Have your menu planning done. Pretty amazing. You're gonna love it. Um, you got the PDF and start, you're starting tomorrow, Justin and Stephanie, I'm so excited. Um, hey, Allison, so glad to see you. Hi, Cindy, I'm so glad you're here this morning. Okay, does that help? Your screen is freezing the weather, the rain must be coming. It might be freezing, okay. It must be bad. What is the setting you put the crock pot on? Freezing up when you said that. I put my crock pot on low, so it's gonna cook on low for the rest of the day. Okay, so I think we got everybody answered. The bread, Julie, is for Wednesday, which is the ham and cheese melts. You wanna try them, they're fantastic. The, um, so those are Wednesday. I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, it's gonna be a great week, lots of yummy meals. So if you struggle with grocery shopping and menu planning, if you feel overwhelmed, if you struggle to just not know, if every day you sit there and think, I have to make dinner again, and you say to your spouse, what are we having for dinner today? I have to plan it again. If you're struggling, I'm telling you what, these are a game changer. These are a game changer. They are worth every penny. I promise we have, I don't think I've had anybody, we've had several thousand of people buy, and I don't think we've had anyone fully dissatisfied. So I think you're gonna be pretty happy with it. Um, if you have special dietary needs, like you eat keto or you eat, um, I don't know, low carb, anything like that, this probably is not the menu plan for you. This is a really simple, basic, this is for basic people who need kid-friendly, family-friendly food made every day. That's the girl that this is for, so hopefully that helps. Have you used the Instant Pot, Becky? I have not, but I think if you're a, not, if you're a good Instant Pot user, they'd be pretty easy to make in the Instant Pot. I just haven't tried that. The money we saved last week by not eating out was totally worth the cost. That's the thing, is if you spend, if you spend $40 on eating out one time, I guarantee, like this week of groceries, the meals are all super frugal too. So like everything I bought for this week was 50 bucks for all my groceries. $50 for a week of groceries. Now I had some stuff on hands, but still, because we don't do heavy meats, we do lots of chicken, it's cheaper. Um, a lot of, and the meals are just yummy. They are so good. Tiffany, I'm so glad to hear that you think they're such a money saver as well. Trina, the recipes are easily convertible. I love that. I love the people, a lot of people, Bridget is right. Bridget said a lot of people in the group are talking about the Instant Pot. So when you, when you join, you get access to our private supper club, which is all of us making the same deal. So everybody in the group is making the same. So you can hear re reviews like people say, oh, I did this to the ravioli and it made it a little bit better. Or they can tweak things. So you get to be in a community of ladies who are all in the same boat with you. You eat keto, but your family doesn't. They have liked the meal so far. Perfect, Bambi, that is perfect. And if you eat keto, like on those days, typically I eat low carb. Um, I don't eat it, so I just eat a very light amount of ravioli and I have a big salad. So I just make it work for me. Um, Cause the reality is I have to feed my people. Oh, Jesse, you're saving so much money. I love hearing that. Well, if you are interested and you're new here, I am tickled that you're here. If you are joining us from the supper club, can I just tell you that when I hop in and see your comments, you totally inspire me to keep going. Like there are days that I've been a little bit tired this last week, it's been a big week for me. And when I see you guys saying how you're saving money and changing your grocery budget and seeing how you're getting dinners made for your family, 
it is so inspiring. So for those of you who are in the supper club, thank you for being generous with your comments and just being kind with me. I feel super blessed by you and I'm just tickled that this helps you out. Um, thank you guys for checking things out. You haven't been able to find the supper club. Julie, send me an email at shop at passionatepennypincher.com and we'll get you added in that group. Slow cook the sauce and swap zoodles for the pasta. <gasps> Mary Ellen, she said slow cook the sauce, swap zoodles for the pasta. You know what? I've got some zoodles. I might actually just make the zoodles separate and I could totally just do the sauce. Great idea. Fantastic idea. Awesome. Thank you, Mary Ellen, for sharing that with me. You guys, y'all are amazing. The Supper Club's amazing. Join us. Get in the Cool Kids Club. You will love it. Um, and guys, I just appreciate you hanging out. We will be back on tomorrow when we're making. I'm excited about tomorrow. Slow cooker chicken pot pie. You're going to love it. Get ready. Get your grocery list. Get your menu plan. Get the PDF. Order it, join us. I'm excited to have you here. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, Sherry just said your croc died last week. Do you think the Ninja will go on sale on Amazon on Black Friday? I do. And I think you can get a good deal on the Ninja at Kohl's just about all the time. I do think it cooks hot. So if you get a Ninja, know that it's not one that you're gonna leave cooking all day long. Like I put my Ninja on, I put my Ninja on on days when I know I'm home and I can stop the Ninja. It does have a um, setting though where you can set it to stop after three hours and just keep it on warm. But I just want you to be warned about that. You can't find the sweet banana peppers anywhere. You should be able to find sweet banana peppers. Let me see. They look like this. Like that? Have you not? Maybe in the pickle? Come, go in the pickle, pickle section. See if you can find those. Does that help? You don't want them plain. What kind of crock pot did you use? I used the... Um, ninja and yes, go for the zoodles. Great idea. Okay, you guys have an amazing day. I'm tickled to have you here and I will see you tomorrow morning when we are making some, I forgot the word again, slow cooker chicken pot pie. Have an awesome day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye guys.